YouTube, what is going on? It's your boy Nicola Regano. You are watching my Barber Dreams. What's going on? I know it's been a minute. To be honest with you, I've been slacking on my YouTube grind. I've been really busy at the shop, you know, crazy busy with appointments and really busy building my brand, my product line, the outfit. Uh, a lot of planning, a lot of stuff I got going on for that. A lot of big plans, a lot of uh, a lot of things I've been thinking about lately for my brand, um, and really working on that heavy. So stay tuned for that. But doesn't make up for the excuse of not uploading more YouTube content, um, and especially with us getting out of quarantine here, I'm in PA, so I got to get back on the grind, especially as things are clearing up from the quarantine. I got to get more haircut tutorials for you guys. I got to get out there to more restaurants as they're opening up, get more food reviews. We got to do some interviews. We got tons of things planned, and I know I had a lot planned for this summer of 2020, but of course, like I say, you know, not everything goes as planned, especially this year. I know a lot of people feel that about this year. You know, whatever you had planned, it kind of got put on the back burner. But that's all right because everything happens for a reason and we're gonna come out swinging on top. Without further ado, I'm about to get on the road here. Let's go set my kid up at the shop down at Main Street Barbershop and Supply right there in Monongahela. Let's go set up down there and check it out. But first, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that and hit the bell so you don't miss a video. Also, follow me at Barber Dreams by Riggs for more cuts and content. Let's get it. All right, so we're here at the shop, man. Let's see what's in this kit. A lot of people, they see me carry this gold kit around, man, and uh, they always wonder, like, what's in that thing, you know? Like, then I gotta tell them, like, all right, yeah, I'm a barber, got all my stuff in here. A lot of times, like, the mess of people, I say, oh, I got a million in cash in here, or whatever. But seriously, I love cases like this. This is a, a Vincent case right here. Um, super dope brand, very sturdy. I got this in barber school, which is about two, three years ago. Um, I used to travel, you know, do a lot of house calls with it. I take it to shows. I take it home every weekend with me with all my stuff. Um, so it's very durable, very long lasting. But let's check, but let's check out what's inside. All right, so I'm a pretty organized person. Uh, <laughs> that's just how I function. I like to keep everything in place. Um, that's what I try to do here in my station. So yes, I got an Irving. Uh, barber mat, got, I've had this for a while, these are dope, good to keep your stuff on, um, yeah, and here's where I keep all my flat top combs, brushes, all kind of stuff, uh, stray razors, some guards, again, this is just half of my stuff, you know, everything else is in here, this is where I transfer all my stuff to. These are where all the goods are, you know what I mean, it's a little messy in there, right? I just got done, I just got done saying I was organized and clean, but... You know, in my drawer, it's a different story. Uh, so I'll, I'll run through here one of these days and get rid of some of the stuff. But I need, you know, I, I need some of this stuff. You know what I mean? Some of these are extra guards, brushes, whatever. That's how I function. So first out of everything I wanna go over is the Babyliss Foil Shavers, man. Um, these are legit. If you don't have these, man, best foil shavers on the market, in my opinion. I've tried the Walls, tried the Andes, uh, man, they just, I don't know, man, they're, they're something else. They get super close, they last a long time, you know, uh, I love them, man, very smooth, and it's even good for sensitive skin, too, so definitely love these. All right, what else we got in here? Next up, we got all oh, the classic, man, 
these are my go-to's right here, man. The, these are my classics right here, man. The go-to's. These are my classics right here, man. The go-to's. The walls, cordless, magic clippers. So easy, so lightweight, durable. You know, I have it pretty much zero gapped. Um, I have the original uh, cutting blade on there. Um, I also have another one. And this one is older, but it has, I think it has like the taper blade on there. It still gets pretty close. Kind of gives it a different effect. So I love switching in between these two. Love the Magic Clips because they're great for every hair. Honestly, any texture of hair I could cut right through it. Again, it's very lightweight, durable, lasts, you know, battery life's like 90 minutes. It's a classic. If you don't know what that is, or if you're just starting out in the barbering game, definitely grab those as your first pair. It's, it's just very reliable very key next up we got the black and gold babyliss pro fx uh trimmers this is the these are the self the sophie gold black and gold edition um i love these things man uh very similar to those um a little bit a little bit heavier but I, I like it i like the shape i didn't think i was gonna like it at first because it's like a it's almost like a flashlight man it's pretty you know pretty heavy duty but but very it gets very close with this blade i had the rose gold um and the, the same exact model, I had the rose gold pair, and I swear the blades were different. So this one is supposed to be like a graphite blade. It's a little bit tighter. Uh, it gets very close. You can take that bald line out very easily with these. Um, I love the notches on them. I love the notches. You know, you could hear, you know, you could hear a click as you're adjusting that lever. I love that. Again, good battery life. Um, and I, I just love them, man. These are also my my other go-to's man so I'll switch back and forth a lot between the magic clips and these man very great clippers right here and we can't forget the classics right here man the the fade masters man these are the Andes fade masters they're a little bit worn out I've had them for a little while now probably over a year uh, but yes I have the fade blade on them that is a must uh, that is because I could take that ball line out so quick. I could ball it out with these. You know, this is a, a five odd blade. That's what I have adjusted it, uh, adjusted to. And uh, but yeah, you could take out that first initial guideline, uh, like the true one line, very easily with these. Again, you could also ball it out. Very cool. I was definitely thinking about getting the cordless Andes Masters. Um, so. Let me know what you think about them. I've heard so many different things. Other guys in the shop have them, they love them. I don't know if it's worth it for me because I don't use those as much, but comment down below what you think of those. All right, now we got the trimmer game going. So these are the classics, man, the Andes Slimline Pros. Uh, these are a must, okay, great. Small teeth here, you know, could get in tight spaces. Great for kids. I ha always have two trimmers, right? So I have one trimmers that are super heavy hitters and then I have something like this where I could, you know, just pretty much touch and go on every kid, older guys, whatever, and it's not gonna hurt them, it's not gonna jab them or anything. I also balled out with these a lot. I know that's not a good thing to do with your trimmers, but, um, you know, great battery life, very easy to handle. Um, can't say enough about these, man. Really great, great trimmers right there. Now, I never use these. These actually always stay in my kit. These are the Walls Retro T-Cuts, but this this is a really good, notable trimmer. You know, has the nice T-blade on there, wide enough, you know, to get a, you know, a nice line up there. Um, and you could adjust the blades pretty well. Uh, these are kind of just like my backups. I don't pull these out as much, but I did want to include them in the reviews. And of course, we got the Babless Pro FX Skeletons, man. These are hitters right here. These are the best trimmers I've ever used in my whole career of being a barber, man. I love these, can't get enough of these, man. You could zero gap them very easily. It even comes with a zero gapping tool. Um, I don't have one laying around right now, but it's very easy to adjust that blade. Very, very easy to adjust that blade. Um, but yeah, great battery life on these. Uh, it's a great grip on it. So like I said, I always have two trimmers that are hard hitting and softer. Those are my hard hitters, but it's also, I mean, it's also soft enough where I could use it on a kit. I just don't press in as much, but great for designs, detail work, all that good stuff. Now I hear the hype behind the Gamma trimmers. Um, you know, there's other trimmers coming out that are supposed to be really hard hitting. Um, let me know what you guys think about them. I was thinking about giving them a shot. 
putting the order in. So if you have those trimmers or any other recommendations of trimmers, let me know because I'm always trying new stuff. I love trying new clippers, trimmers, all that good stuff. So comment down below your favorite out of this bunch or a pair that you have. Also wanted to note that with these are a great addition, man. I only use the Walls Premium Guards, man. Uh, you know, just always durable. Will always click on any of these clippers, even the Babyliss, they are compatible with the Babyliss guards. I have a couple of those that I use, but especially when you get into these, the one guards, man, that you're using very, very often, um, you want something that's, that's gonna stay on there, okay? You're not gonna have to worry about this falling off. Um, so this metal clip really secures it, secures that guard. Um, you know, it can pop it off very easily. But yes, these guards are like impossible to find, uh, you know, ever since the quarantine, just because they're so, they're so in demand. Um, so I had to order these online. I actually just got these from a local, local place. Um, I think it was in Virginia, Deluxe Line. So shout out to them, you know, hit them up if you need these guards. They're clutch, they're very essential. Check them out. Oh, and I also forgot this lane over here. Yes, I do have detachable clippers. These are the Oster Octanes, man. These things are beasts. And I usually don't use um, detachable blades. I usually don't use detachable clippers like that. Uh, but I will use it to take down bulk very fast, you know. Uh, I just have the three and a half, or sorry, three and three fourths guard on there. I'll take down the bulk quick. Um, sometimes I'll ball it out with these. I do have the five out blade. I have never faded with detachables. I know a lot of people like to do that. I've seen videos, especially like your boy S Craft Blends. He's a beast. I definitely want to check, uh, or I definitely want to try fading with detachables eventually. So if you guys like doing that, comment down below. Let me know what it's all about. But yes, love these clippers. And I'll run through real quick. This is my shears, man. I have a lot of them. Um, I definitely plan on getting more. Shears are very important, and there's a lot of barbers that don't value them. Um, if you really get down the shear work really well and you're using high quality shears, your, your clients will notice you're gonna separate yourself from all these other barbers that just kind of half-ass shear work and stuff like that. Don't even cross check or whatever. So shears are very important. Definitely take classes. Just keep educating yourself on this uh, on the scissor game, man. I'm gonna continue to do that myself. It's one of the things I really plan to do this year and I just went to a scissor class. It's actually where I got these one pair of shears, let me show you right now. The Hattori Hanzo, um, the chunking shear, the texturizing shear, I think they call them V1. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I'm not a shear guru or nothing, but dude, super high quality steel. I mean, got a deal on them, believe it or not, for like 700 or whatever it was. You know, it's a payment plan, but these are great for adding texture. Um, it's a great for adding texture, taking down bulk, um, I can't say enough about these, man. You could, this is the only shear I've ever had where you could like cut the hair, have it in there still, pull it out, and your client will not feel it, man. It's the craziest thing ever. So yes, shout out to Hattori Hanzo. Definitely plan on getting more shears. I uh, took a class. Uh, Roy J was the educator, if you guys know him. He's a beast, man. Showed me the chop suey technique, all that. Um, but yes, Duffy, I'm gonna invest in more Hattori Hanzo. Um, these are a great pickup, man. These are craft shears. Um, and, I don't, dude, I don't know. They're just great shears. They last a while and not a bad price either. You could get these at Sally Beauties, probably Cosmoprov too, but they have them there for like 60 or $70. Great pair of shears, just got them sharpened. Uh, my local sharpener. The, those are my go-tos. Also, just pick these up real quick. These are just some uh, kind of cheaper Oster. Uh, shears not bad as you notice I I love five to six inch shears I love to work with those um, in shorter spaces but I also do like some longer shears so I'll pull out these man these are the Babyliss I got these at a show these are great for sculpting for shaping fros beards whatever and yes if you got to chop off crazy amount of hair really good for that and one thing that I learned at the class was it's also good for you know like these shears are very good for working on the ridge and uh, you know blending up that way so yes you could also use that um, but these are definitely my go-to's it's you know came in the same set the Babyliss uh, shears here got the texturizing shear the blending shear whatever you want to call it these are the go-to's man definitely no doubt 
And then I got these at a hair show a couple years ago. Um, Cetrix, Centrix, Centrix, Rocket Dog, I believe, uh, is the name of the brand. Uh, but super good shears, again, six inch shears, <laughs> I love them. And I can't forget the Tomb 45s, man. These are the classics. Uh, great shear right here, I think I got for $160. You know, great quality, great value, has lasted me a long time. You know, has a tension screw with it. Uh, you know, love the grip on them. Very good, cut smooth, all that. And last one I will show you guys is the this chunking shear, which came in the set with that Rocket Dog um, shear I was telling you about. There it is, you can see it there. Um, I love chunking shears, man. Again, great for taking down bulk or blending that ridge if you need. Um, you might be able to add some texture with these. I haven't really experienced, uh, experienced too much with these. Again, I'm definitely gonna get more into uh, just improving my shear work, different techniques, taking more classes, and investing more in my tools and all that good stuff, just like you should. Had to restock down here on my very own product, the Compagna Clay from my barber brand, The Outfit, based around the Chicago Mob and Al Capone, a brand that I've been working on for over a year now. This is my product I released last year before Christmas, the very first one. I plan on dropping so many more, but basically each product that I have represents a different member in the infamous Chicago outfit. You know, that gang, the Prohibition Arrow, such a cool thing to study. Compagna Clay is a stronghold dry clay, you know, with a natural finish. It's gonna give you great texture. It's great for shorter to longer lengths, okay? And it's gonna last you all day. So I had this in since this morning, um, but it's very flexible. It's very, it allows movement. It's not gonna get stiff on you. It's, and um, it's not too sticky. It's gonna wash out easily. So that's what I wanted. I tested so many products out and I was finding that you know, the products that I like that, you know, that gave me that drier look, whatever it was, it would fall down halfway in the day. Um, so, you know, instead of trying all these different products, I always had the dream of creating my own product line. And, um, and so I did, I developed this, I tested it. This is not a private label. I formulated and tested it myself. It took about a year to put together. Also, yes, I got t-shirts. Yes, I have sunglasses. These t-shirts are very comfortable, very form fitting. Um, made from like a very light, stretchy cotton. They can shrink in the watch, so just be careful when you buy sizing. Um, you know, it just says, welcome to the family. That's our slogan here for the outfit. <clears throat> you know, the Mafia was very family oriented, very close niche um, with their members and their associates. So if any of that interests you, you know, with the Dawn shades, the comfy shirts, or the Compagna clay, or if you're just interested in the story and want to hear more about my brand and the product line, definitely check it all out on the website, theoutfitformen.com. And we'll see if we can make you a part of the family. One thing I did forget to mention is I have a summer promo going on right now. Um, if you buy one of these clays and these glasses right here, clays go for 18, Dawn shades go for 15, you could Enter the code DAWNCOMBO7 and that will bring you to $8 off your next purchase. So if you're interested in that, you go to the site, check out, and there will be an option to put the discount code in. So it's DAWNCOMBO7 and you will get your discount. That is going on till August 31st. If you're interested in that, check it out, theoutfitformen.com. So that is it. A look at my barber case, what I had in it. Um, hope you guys took something away from this video. I love doing little vlogs like this. I'm going to continue to put out more content um, as much as I can. I know I've been really busy. I already said that I've been slacking, but I need to get back on the YouTube grind. Um, let me know what your favorite type of style of video is. Do you like these vlogs? Do you like the haircut tutorials? Do you take away uh, a lot from those? Do you love the food reviews? You know, interviews, um, just life hack videos. Um, I'm a very spiritual guy. I love creating different life hacks and um, and also spiritual videos as well. So let me know what your favorite thing is, um, your style of video that you prefer. Comment down below. It would help me and the channel out a lot. Really appreciate all the love and the support that I've been getting. So.
Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you don't miss a video. Also, follow me at Barber Dreams by Riggs for more content and videos. And also, check out theoutfitformen.com for more information on my product line and my barber brand. I really appreciate you watching. And until the next one, I'll see you then.